Hello my most amazing artists. Today we're going to be focusing on an artist that I love, Brazilian artist Romero Brito. Romero Brito is a painter who is famous for his iconic style. He uses bright bold colors, black outlines, and a lot of unique pattern. Before we get into this, let's talk about what kind of supplies you'll need. Paper, pencil, marker if you have it, and any type of colors, color pencils, paints, markers, crayons, whatever you have on hand. Now before we get into drawing some portraits inspired by Romero Brito, let's take a look at some of his iconic artwork. So this is Romero Brito. He is a painter from Brazil. He is a self-taught artist and started doing art at eight years old. Growing up, he didn't have a lot of art supplies, so he had to paint on newspaper or cardboards, things he had on hand. He didn't even have paint brushes, so he had to use his fingers to paint. Now, he is a famous artist that works with brands like Disney, Coca-Cola, and Mattel. He even works with international brands across the world. He loves to use vibrant colors, inspired by the bright toys his son played with, and he uses bold black outlines and patterns. He wants his art to spark happiness in others. I just love this artwork. Okay, so let's talk about portraits. For this lesson, we're gonna be focusing on drawing a portrait um, in Romero Bruto's iconic style. So this portrait can be of another person if you want to, it could be of a family member, it could be of a famous person, an actor you might like, it could be of your pet, or it could be a self-portrait, which is a picture of yourself. So, I'm going to start off, I'm going to do two different portraits. I'm going to do a girl portrait and a boy portrait, just so you can see some different types of opportunities to do hair. Now, we have done portraits a lot in our classrooms. We all kind of know that I like to start out with that U shape for the head. I mean, I'm just doing head, neck, and shoulders. I'm not doing full body, but you could if you wanted to. So, head, neck, and shoulders. So, I always start out with drawing with my finger. I want to make a U that's big enough. It's not too small because I want to fit my facial features on and it's not too big because I want to have room for my hair and my neck and shoulders. So I'm going to say that that looks pretty good. I'm drawing right away with just a marker, but you can start with a pencil in case you need to erase. So we're just drawing a big U shape. This will be where the head details go. Off of the bottom of the U, I'm just going to get this out of the way. I'm going to draw my neck curved line through the bottom of the neck, and then my shoulders are going to come off towards the edges of the page. So it's kind of filling up that whole page there. Now I can get on to doing some details in the hair. So we know for proportion, we talked about this in our classroom, that the eyes are in the middle of our head. So I'm going to eyeball, <laughs> I'm going to eyeball where the middle is so I can put my eyes. I'm thinking about right here. So I like to start with two curved lines for my eyes, and then I add the details on the inside. So I add the circle on the inside for the iris, that's the color for your eyes. The pupil is the black dot in the center. Then I can close the shape and add any other details I might want to add. So for example, maybe I want to add an eyelid on the top. Just is a curved line that goes right around the top of the eye. I could add some eyelashes if I want to. I'm going to do a nose neck, or actually I'm going to do eyebrows. Remember, eyebrows really can change how somebody looks. I'm going to do curved line, but I'm also going to make it a little bit thicker because in Romero Brucho's pictures, we have a lot of opportunity to fill in each section with pattern and color. So I want to give myself as much opportunity as possible. I'm going to create the nose now. I'm going to start at the edge of my eyebrow and I'm going to create kind of an L-shaped nose. It's going to be a little bump at the end, like that. And then you have an opportunity to do whatever you want with the mouth. I think I'm going to do a smile and I'm going to give some lips. Alright, and then I think I'm going to go ears. Ears are lining up with the sides of your eyes, so they're going to be kind of in the same spot, the middle of the head, but on the side. And I just do two curved lines. All right, great. Face looks awesome. Now let's talk about hair. 
I'm going to make this one my lady, obviously, so I'm going to go ahead and think about how the top of my hair is going to look. I'm going to imagine that there is a part in my hair, so starting at the top of the ear, I'm going to draw kind of a lines that go up. It's going to look like she has a rough on her head. Kind of like this. That's just kind of be where her hair is going to kind of meet. That's the part. And then the hair is going to come around her head. Around her head. So um, it's not going straight down to the ears. It's actually going around the outside of the ears. And I'm going to kind of make a little part at the top. And make some hair that comes down. And then Romero Bruto sections off a lot of his pictures so that he can have opportunities to fill it in with patterns. So I'm going to draw some random lines on my shirt so I can do different patterns. You can decide what kind of patterns you want to do. Maybe I'll do hearts in that one and I'm going to do stripes right here. And this one could be circles or polka dots. I'm going to put some sections up in my hair as well. So I might start sectioning off some of my hair to have different patterns in it. I'm drawing some lines and stripes in my hair. And I can add those patterns in. So I'm going to do stripes here. This one's going to have zigzag lines. And this one can have stripes in there. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of section off my face so it looks like it's in half. So I'm going to go in between here. I'm drawing a line. I'm drawing a line right here. It's curved for the chin. And I want to have some cheek de details. So I'm going to do like a heart-shaped cheek and a circle cheek. Now I'm going to fill in the side with patterns as well. And then of course in my background I'm going to section off some patterns from my background. So maybe I'll do a line right here and maybe there's dog bones in the background. You could do patterns of different lines. You could do a different object in the background. It's really up to you. Make it simple. It doesn't have to be too complicated. And I'm going to do some swirly spirals back here. All right, that's pretty busy looking. So I'm going to put this to the side. Let's work on my, my boy a little bit. I'm going to go with that same process with the eyes. Curved line, curved line, circle on the inside, and a dot. Close the shape. I'm going to give him eyebrows too. So I do a curved line and I kind of just make it thicker. He's going to have a nose that comes down the center. I'm going to give him a nose like that. So I kind of did like a little bumped curve. He's going to have his mouth open. So I'm going to do a line across and I'm going to kind of draw a semicircle shape. That can be his teeth and maybe he has his tongue showing and the space in between gets colored and black. Okay, so he has ears in the middle of his head too. And I'm going to start where the top of my U is and I'm going to give him kind of a crazy hairstyle. So I'm going to give him some messy zigzag hair, kind of like that. And then starting at the top of the ear, his hair is going to kind of come around and touch the other top of his ear. So. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to give him a zigzag top because remember he's got some crazy hair. Comes down like that. And I want to give him a lot of opportunity to have some crazy styles in his hair. So I'm going to kind of section it off just like I did with the girl's hair, but just maybe a little bit different. Um, and then I need to give him some sections on his shirt just like I did for the um, lady. 
and he's going to have a lot more background showing, so I can have a lot more fun with the sections in the background. Again, you need to split the face in half like I did on my girl. So his eyebrow is going to come all the way over here, line down the middle, and then a curved line right here to kind of show his chin. And I want him to have cheeks as well, but I'm just going to give him circle cheeks. He's not going to have a heart cheek. And now I get to fill in all of my sections with pattern. You'll notice the only thing I left out with the pattern was the skin because I don't want it to get too busy. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in each section that I've made, besides my skin, my neck and my face, with a pattern. Okay, so now I have both of my pictures done, the next step is to go back in and add a little bit of color. So I think I'm going to start with the skin. Um, you can go creative with the skin tones on here. I think I'm going to go um, on my girl half of a normal skin tone, and then I think I'll do the other half of her face a different color. So I'm just going to go around and I'm going to fill this part in. And one thing that Romero Brucho was really good at was kind of using either one color in an empty area or he kind of limited himself to two or three colors in a patterned area. So you shouldn't go too crazy with your patterns. Um, two or three colors is enough. If it's a solid area like this, only one color. And I think I'm going to do the neck. Maybe I'll add a line down this too. And then I think for the other side of the face, I'm going to go with a little more bold of a color. I think it's really fun to do like a purple or a pink with this color. Okay, so I'm going to keep coloring and I'm going to fill in all the space and then be working on getting my background colored, my hair, um, and all of my other details. And that's how you're going to make two really fun Romero Brito inspired portraits. The whole purpose of this is to have fun with color and pattern. And don't forget to snap a picture to share. Goodbye, my most amazing artists.